through our parents. Um, my mum grew up local. Um, she grew up in Berkeley. I've got all my uh, aunties and uncles. They live in Gateshead. Um, so yeah, we would we would come up often in the in the holidays, Christmas holidays, and stuff like that. Um, see all the family, and that's where you know we we started to fall in love with Newcastle. See us pictured in the kit and stuff like that. So yeah, we begun at a very early age. To me, that picture it it never grows old. Um, you know, to see how excited we look there. Um, got the crest on our chest, and then yeah, now I get to look down. And I see it every day. Um, I love it. Well, I remember our first game at St James's. I can't remember how old we were, but I know it was um, a European night um, against PSV. I'm sure in one of them pictures you see Gary Speed knocking it in. Um, I remember remember them games. It was just walking up the walking up the stairs, walking walking out seeing the pitch and that and seeing how big the stadium was, it was just a wow moment. And then the next time I had a taste of, of that probably would have been playing for Norwich against Newcastle in the in the championship. And then yeah, that was my real first taste of feeling it as a player. We at Norwich we lost that game. Um but how 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 it turned because of the fans, the noise, we were leading 3-1, um, lose 4-3 and yeah, it was that 12th man, the, the Newcastle fans, which, you know, secured that win back in the day. Um, I just love being part of, part of this, now giving them joy, it makes me really proud. I had a lot of loans um, growing up. And I think that helped me. That helped me mature, um, learn more about the man's the man's game. Um, and then, yeah, it was really a, a breakthrough season at Norwich um, after a few successful loans down in the lower leagues. And then, yeah, finally got my opportunity at Norwich, a club that I love to pieces. Also, um, <clears throat> but yeah, got an opportunity there. Um, Worked my socks off, played most of the season, and then yeah, gained England recognition. Went to the under 21 Euro Championships, um, played, which you know that was another great moment in my career. And yeah, after uh, what was a good season in the Championship, Newcastle came knocking. Uh, when he had said, he was like, "No, this this can't this can't be happening." So as soon as we knew that the interest was real, it was it was a move that you you, you can't you can't say no to. Um, I think you know players won't really have a chance to play for a team that they support. Um, you know that happens that happens few and far between in in the professional game now, and to be able to have the opportunity to represent this club. Um, you know, I know it's a cliche, but it is what dreams are made of. Um, I didn't want to say that, but you know, it, it is. And yeah, just pure pride, pure joy. And yeah, to represent the shirt, like I said last season's pride in the badge. It was great to score my first goal, especially at the Etihad with a with a finish like that. Um, in that first season, my my games were coming against the the bigger opposition so you know it was it was stop start um, it was tough to get into the team and stuff and yeah when I was playing it was against the likes of your cities uh, Chelsea's Man U and stuff like that and they are they are difficult games um, but yeah after this goal I thought right this could be me right now let's kick on let's kick on from here but it didn't didn't quite happen that way um, I don't think I started another game um, for just over a month, maybe after scoring that goal. Um, so yeah, there has been there has been bumps in the road, but it's part and parcel of of this journey that that I'm on. It's tough, you know. You know, you go out on loan to to get game time, but in my head, it's not just getting game time. It's you know, you're fighting. You're fighting for your future. You're fighting for your career. Um, 
West Brom didn't quite go how I wanted it to. Um, so that was a bit annoying on that front. But then the following season, then going to Wednesday, that's just where I learned so much about myself. Um, I think that was, that was when I turned from a boy to a man, really. Um, my mindset changed completely. Um, I had good guidance, good guidance there from Gary Monk. Um, he played a he played a massive role in, you know, helping me get back to to where I was because I know the ability is in there. There was just other things that needed touching up on to to get me back to where you know I wanted to be. And then yeah, um, a good season at Wednesday, and I haven't looked back. I'd say what's happened has been two years of resilience, pure graft, you know, showing a relentless attitude um, to never quit, to be the best I can be. Um, and yeah, now seeing the fruits of it. When um, the gaffer had come in, you know, I thought I'd, I thought I'd done all right in that pre-season, but uh, we sat down, we had an honest chat. He said, um, you know, I don't think you're going to get the minutes this season. It'd be better for you to, to go out on loan and then we can reassess um, the following summer. And then that's how the Sheffield Wednesday move came about. And yeah, the rest is, rest is history, as they say about that. Um, Wednesday was such a, such a great loan for me. Um, come back the following year and then I knew I would have the chance to impress the manager. And I think from day one, he, he took note. And yeah, every day was another opportunity to show him why I need to stay. And uh, I, felt, I felt I showed him enough. I felt all of last season, it was, it was good. There was a spell where I was in for a bit and then came out. And then, yeah, back end of the season, become a become a, a mainstay in them last um, 10, 11 games. Um, but I think, I think just showing, showing everything in training, my, my hard work, um, you know, the willingness to improve day in, day out. I think, I think all the coaches had noticed that. And yeah, it was just something that, you know, I think, yeah, I just think I'd done done enough to, to be to be in and around it. And then once once I was in it, I showed I showed what I could do. Because I have played wing back, I played wing back for Wednesday um, a fair few times. But then to play wing back in the Prem, it's a, it's a whole new ball game. Um, I was nervous going into this game as well. <clears throat> had to text um, Josh before the game, get him to settle me down. But I just had pure concentration this whole game. Um, I just felt alive, felt ready. And then I felt I was having a good game, but then when this opportunity came up, Miggy standing with me and the wall being where it was. And I practiced my free kicks quite regularly as well. Um, and I was like, no, nah, I've, got, I've got to have this. I've got the angle. I've done my research on the goalie. I think I can squeeze this in. And then, and yeah, it's kind of hard work, preparation. It all play, plays its part. And then it all comes together in some, some moment like this. Second half, performance wasn't quite there, but yeah, you can hear them. They were, they were supporting us the whole way and it was beautiful. I think, like I said in this, in this interview, it's so, so lovely. I just, yeah, I love it here. I love being able to play for this club. Um, it's been so good to show the supporters really what I'm, I'm made of and, you know, to, to win round fans the way I did last season. You know, that gives me so much strength. It gives me so much joy. Um, I just want to keep making them proud. Um, I know I know what it takes to play to play for this club. I know there's 52,000 out there that would die for this opportunity, and I'm here getting to do that.
day in, day out. So I won't let them down. I'll, I'll keep working hard. I'll keep trying to be that inspiration, that story of hard work. There's still so many goals now that I want to I wanna achieve individually and collectively. Um, so yeah, this season brought on a different challenge now for me. Whereas last year it was fighting to get into the team. Now it's fighting to stay in the team and really push on um, and do really good things with the club. I want us to do well in the cups. So I want us to finish uh, a lot higher up in the, in the table than we did last season, which I believe is very achievable, especially the way that we ended, ended last season. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I just, I just want to give back. Um, yeah, give back to the fans, give back to the club for, for showing, showing faith in me with a, with a new contract. And at the end of the day, it's, it's nice to feel wanted. Um, so so that, that, that has made me happy. So yeah, going out there, give my all, pride in the badge, let's go. Coming to dad, it's a life-changing experience. Um, everything from the, the, the birth, taking her home, being at home with her, feeding her, changing her. Yeah, life changing. Um, but now, not only am I doing it for myself, my family, Newcastle, the fans, I'm doing it for her. So, you know, I didn't need any more motivation, but now I've got that little bit more and that. That makes me that makes me happy because now I know I'm doing it. I'm doing it for someone else, which gives me a lot of pride.